Thank you very much for joining me on this Tuesday. Meteorologist Brian Shields watching, of course, this disturbance right here. That brought the intense flooding last night to some areas, especially Curacao. We saw that. Thinking of our friends in Jamaica. We had that earthquake yesterday. I'm monitoring those aftershocks, watching that. And with this system, it is going to march across. The big concern will be the water temperatures. I expect slow development in the short term and then things will blossom. And on the eastern Pacific side, watching Pilar bringing that heavy rain and the mudslide uh, issue. So it's this flare up here really blossomed last night. And you see some of the rain and storms that broke free over toward the ABC Islands. And we had that flooding easily over 150 millimeters of rain in spots of Curacao last night. So it's this disturbance here that will be marching to the west. So we are watching this. We are on alert in the Caribbean. Models being run on this. This is going to move due west. I want to show you why in just a second. And then approach Central America near either Belize, Honduras, or Nicaragua down the road. But it could curl back a little bit closer. So keeping an eye on Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, and Cuba. And we'll keep an eye on Florida down the road as well. So watching how this system evolves. Now the Western Caribbean right now, the big focus has been Pilar, the really heavy rain, Guatemala and El Salvador. Thank you for getting the word out about this system. And then we'll be watching what's next. So I'm going to get into that. We have a lot to cover. Very important information because even if we don't see a big system develop, we are going to have life-threatening flooding. It is going to be enhanced as we get through the end of the week into the weekend. So monitor mode still. That means we are watching this carefully please again, thank you for sharing this channel, just getting the word out about this because my, I don't want to say fear, but I guess it is. My fear is that this system will march across and be kind of weak and then hit these very warm water temperatures and then go from a whole lot of nothing to a hurricane in a short period of time. So watching this as this approaches Central America, watching it for the weekend. Now, I do expect slow development out of this. That's good news. That, that part is good news. Hopefully it doesn't develop into a named system, but you see it here. The European model, I want to show you kind of the setup when I'm, what I'm seeing. Uh, that's the disturbance we're watching near Haiti, the Dominican Republic, and Puerto Rico, and the ABC Islands now. Here's uh, Pilar. This will eventually move away from the coast of Central America, and then we'll be watching this. So taking you out in time, Here's the setup. This is as we work our way into our Thursday. Now, what's going on here? A couple things going on here. First, we've got Pilar. You see it moving away. That is some good news. That'll start to work away from the coast. Then we work our way into the Caribbean. So it's this area here watching the moisture. But you see this here? A front is going to drop in, but then that front moves away and high pressure builds in. High pressure to the north. So this area here can't really escape. It's just kind of stuck down here. Can't lift to the north because as that front moves away, we have this blocker. It acts like a fence. So this area here in the short term continues to march its way to the west. And then the European map model trying to develop this into a tropical depression or tropical storm by the time we get into Friday. Very close to Honduras, Nicaragua, Cayman Islands, keeping an eye on Jamaica. Here's Cuba. So at this point, there's a ton of uncertainty. Could be a tropical storm and then it could really blossom. It could really get stronger at that point or it just kind of mixes in with the land here and brings some intense flooding. Either way, at least life-threatening flooding in this area. And then after that, there's another blocker up here, but there are some indications that'll move away. And then whatever this system is may kind of get drawn back to the north as we get down the road. I want to show you the winds in this system in a second, plus some of the rain totals. But I want to show you the wind model. Now, the computer models, this is over time. These squiggly lines are the computer models, right? So this is 24 hours out in time. This is two days, three days, four days out in time. Three to four days out in time, most of them are in this green shading here. That would be Tropical Storm 4. So a lot of the models are developing this a little bit slower than yesterday. And you see here, this is the American model, which is has a decent handle on this system. Again, it's not a defined system at this point. So models are going to be kind of all over the place. That's why I look at everything else. Don't just rely on the models. You see this circulation developing. This is by Thursday. And this is when it could start to spin up, Thursday into Friday into either a tropical depression or named system. And then as we work forward, you see some of the white starting to show up in here, some of the gustier winds, 50 kilometers an hour, or, or rather 80 kilometers an hour, or 50 miles per hour. So some sort of a circulation here. And then this would approach the coast as we get into Saturday. This would be Saturday evening, the potential of a tropical storm right in here. But I've been looking at storms of the past. And again, I've been noting, especially a lot of these, we had, I think it was Freddie back in 1988 that came, that was 
really not a whole lot. Then as it approached Honduras and Nicaragua, it really intensified uh, quickly. So keep an eye on that. Ada is another one that comes to mind that was I think that was last year, uh, or that might have been 2020. I'm getting my years confused. That might have been 2020. Kind of got zigzaggy in here, but you see a circulation somewhere in here on Sunday. So while a lot of the indications are this stays weak in the short term, the water temperatures are the biggest issue. We saw that with Otis. We've seen it with systems this year. They go from nothing to something very carefully. That's why I want the word out about this system. So here's the American model with the rain. In the short term, heavier rain. Haiti and the Dominican Republic watching rain. And again, watching it over here, Central America, we have been clocked with mudslides, flooding, river rises. This is by our Wednesday. Here's our time frame. Wednesday afternoon, we're going to see increased rain again across the ABC Islands, northern Venezuela, northern Colombia. Then as we work forward. I'm watching Honduras, Nicaragua, not forgetting uh, the Colombian islands, watching over toward uh, Providencia, for example. We'll be watching this working its way across. This will start to move across uh, San uh, Andres as well. And by the time we get into Friday afternoon, lots of moisture building in here. So will it stay weak? I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the intensity. More sure on the track that this will move to the uh, west. But again, most of the models are keeping this a tropical storm, but I'm not going to trust them and rely on on these computer models. They have been so off with how warm this water has been. But by the time we get into Saturday, we could have a landfalling tropical storm or a potential of a hurricane. And then you see on Sunday, just kind of lifting to the north a little bit. So keep an eye on Cuba, Cayman Islands, Jamaica, get over toward uh, Roatan, uh, over toward uh, the Yucatan of Mexico. You get toward Cancun and Belize. So it kind of moves west and then a little jog to the north. But again, I'm very concerned about the intensity, especially if it stays weak in some folks that maybe don't watch this channel, like, hey, it's not a whole lot, and then it blossoms. If this gets stronger, I'm gonna be letting you know about that in a hurry. Water temperatures, mid 80s Fahrenheit, 30, 31 degrees Celsius. The water is super, super warm. It's always warm this time of year, but it is above average. And again, I have that in the back of my mind. I'm not going to rely on the computer model solely. I never do, but especially with this system. Now, as far as the rain goes, some white showing up. Dominican Republic, Haiti, parts of Eastern Cuba the next couple days will have some spots over 100 millimeters of rain or four inches of rain. Now, this is additional rain. Aruba, Curacao, we get over toward Bonaire, Northern Venezuela and uh, Colombia here. Again, some whites even some black. We are going to see some totals, additional totals, upwards of four to six inches of rain, 100 to 150 millimeters of rain. Not for all of us in the ABC Islands, but we have another chance. And the issue is that we had the flooding yesterday. So again, it's not going to take much more. So again, uh, thank you for spreading the word in the ABC Islands and Northern Venezuela, even back toward Colombia about the flood potential. This over here, and I want to show you the rain totals or rather rain percentages in just a second. This over here is Pilar, not super organized, but but the situation with this is, is the rain with it. And while this may not make landfall, it's about to make its turn, tropical storm conditions. But again, it's just the water falling from the sky. That is the massive issue for parts of Guatemala and El Salvador, keeping an eye on Nicaragua as we get into the uh, Pacific side. And even enhanced rain, Costa Rica and Panama. And as this kind of rotates, it's going to be in place over the next 24 hours. More flooding of potential. But after tomorrow, so today it starts to make its kind of turn. After tomorrow, it should start to work away. And that would be some very good news trying to pull that moisture away, but then we're watching what is back in the Caribbean. So again, kind of a one-two punch, uh, the potential of that for Central America. You see the core of the rain just clipping Nicaragua, El Salvador. Keep an eye on Guatemala. We could have some spots upwards of 300 millimeters of rain or uh, 12 inches of rain. So we have uh, what could become Vince trying to develop in the Caribbean. Again, early indications are that it would stay weak the next few days, but again, that's more alarming to me because because I don't want anyone caught off guard if it uh, gets uh, super strong as we get toward the end of the week. Pilar, that's the system we're watching that will eventually move away in the Eastern Pacific. But you see the rain chances going up. Jamaica, 60% chance by Thursday. All eyes in Jamaica on this. And of course, watching the aftershocks from the earthquake we had yesterday. Cayman Islands, rain chance goes up some on Thursday. Watching Friday into the weekend in particular. Belize right now, 30 to 40% chance, but that will get higher. We get through Aruba, 
Curacao and Bonaire, the elevated chance of rain. I highlighted the chance of flooding through the ABC Islands. I was watching it overnight, going back and forth with you in the comments, watching that rain. Haiti, we're going to see the river rise. Please, uh, the rivers rise. Please use caution uh, with uh, the uh, river crossing. Same thing in the Dominican Republic, the enhanced chance of rain. Very sprawly, disorganized uh, system at this point. 40% chance in Puerto Rico, rain chance going down some. Going down some in the U.S. and British Virgin Islands, about a 30 to 40% chance today. 30% chance in Barbados, but it starts to go up again as we get toward the end of the week. Starts to go up again in St. Lucia, not related to the system we're seeing now. We're just going to see more moisture move in. So Trinidad and Tobago, you see by Thursday, rain chance will be bumping up a notch over toward uh, Port of Spain. Grenada, 30% chance the next two days, 40% uh, chance on Thursday, 40% chance of some spotty showers, and maybe a thunderstorm, St. Vincent and the Grenadines today. Guadalupe, about a 30% chance of the next two days. Uh, rain chance increasing the end of the week. Dominica will be up to about a 50% chance, a 50% chance on Thursday in Martinique, holding on to a 20% chance the next couple in uh, Antigua and Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat, a 30% chance swinging back toward Anguilla and St. Bart. So it would be just an isolated shower, isolated chance the next couple days, St. Martin, uh, Saba, and Stasia. And uh, by Thursday, rain chance slightly higher, 40% chance. Bermuda, tomorrow we're going to see a better chance. Some of that moisture from what is left of that uh, tropical system trying to be nearby. So again, at times we could get some rain either uh, tonight or tomorrow in Bermuda. Yucatan, an isolated shower or storm. But all eyes on the uh, east, uh, to the east, 30 to 40 percent chance across the Bahamas, a 50 percent chance right through the uh, Turks in Caicos, scattered showers and storms, 40 percent chance in Cuba. But again, it favors the eastern end in Cuba with some of that higher chance of rain. Costa Rica, that much elevated chance of rain and a 50 percent chance, even some stronger storms in northern Venezuela, 30 percent chance today in Guyana, 30 percent chance today in Suriname, 20 percent chance for tomorrow. So again, the water temperatures. That is what I am watching, uh, watching everything, but that is the big issue. Gradual development in the Caribbean, and then will this go from not a whole lot to something in a hurry? Uh, that is a high possibility with this system. So that's why we're in monitor mode in those areas I was talking about. That disturbance continues to move to the west, and then a little hint at a curve to the north after that, above average into November, kind of looking ahead. I've been so focused on what's going on right now, of course, but I'm mean, keeping an eye on the November outlook. It is going to stay really active relatively for the last month of the hurricane season. So again, point being, please get the word out about this system. I'm not saying it's going to be this crazy system, but we've seen it this season with these water temperatures. Within 24, 36 hours, these things go from almost not a named system to a hurricane. So just being aware is the most important thing at this point. Thank you for subscribing and being part of this weather community and have a good rest of your day.